Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review on Christmas Eve, nonetheless, uh, 2018. If anybody's watching this in years to come and watch, know what year. So tonight I'm going to be reviewing one of the best uh, brands of wine uh, that are available in the shops in Britain at this moment. Um, I tasted this wine some years ago and it was amazing. Uh, it was on my early days of red wine tasting and at that moment I wasn't really a fan of red wines so much and um, this wine is a fantastic introduction from roses and whites to the world of reds, I, in my view anyway. So, Yellowtail Shiraz, there you go. Um, oh god, let me, I have to get my phone out because the writing on the back is ridiculously small again. So, what does it say? In the small Australian town of Yenda, the Cassell family has been making wine for generations. It is here that Yellowtail was created with a simple philosophy to make great wines for everybody to enjoy. The Yellowtail Shiraz is everything a great wine should be. Vibrant, smooth, rich and easy to drink. I agree with all of that. Uh, flavours, red berries, spice and licorice. Enjoy with steak or in front of a roaring fire. Uh, alcohol content is 13.5% and uh, I'm not joking when I say this is absolute quality. Um, Yellowtail, I've had some yellow, I've had a bottle, shared a bottle of Yellowtail Merlot today with a family friend. Um, Went down lovely. Already opened this last night because we had a Chateau Briand, which is, pardon me, a beef fillet, a little beef fillet joint. We had some potato definoise, so that's potatoes with a potato def uh, definoise sauce, and cooked that, had the steak with it, and a drop of red to go with it, and even my wife, who doesn't drink red. When she was eating the beef, the red wine complemented the beef fillet fantastically. And it's one way of doing it, you know. You know, Even if you're not a massive fan of reds, if you're having a steak, a, a fillet steak, get a little bottle of the red, and uh, especially something like this or another good red, that's, and have that. So, you know, if someone's not a red wine fan, because when you're eating steaks, um, red wines, especially good red wines, you know, go really well. So we'll pour it out. There's about a glass left. Oh, not far for a glass anyway. So I've got six of these in total, six different um, bottles from the family. The only one I didn't get was the Malbec, so I need to go to Morrison's because they're the only ones who seem to sell it. Unless uh, Sainsbury's do, I'm not sure. So yeah, good colour to it. Uh, you know, pretty much standard. That dark reddish, dark bl blacky red colour, you know. <sighs> that licorice and spices, you know, really present in the um, in the aroma. Um, I'm trying to read what it says, red berries. And what I find with this is, when you initially drink it, you get like a sugary taste. There isn't sugar there, don't get me wrong, there's no sugar there. But you get like a, a sugary taste to it. And it introdu introduces you into it quite nicely. Oh. So it's smooth, very smooth on the palate, you know, going in. Lovely, lovely red berries. Like I said, there's that, there's that, uh, sh not sugariness, um, there's like a sweetness. I think that must be the licorice. And, um, the flavour is excellent, and I do mean excellent. One of the best red wines of all. I was lucky to get this on the bar, get the six, get 25% off at uh, Sainsbury's, and it was on offer at six quid, so it already had a pound off. And then you buy six bottles, so I got another 25% off. 
so it brought it down to four pound fifty a bulb, and that's you know a bargain territory. Um, if you were somebody who worked for Tesco's, you would get another ten percent off, which would bring it down to about four pound five a bottle, which is great price, you know. Uh, especially if you've got the pennies to go and buy a few, then it's good price. So, yeah, easy drinking. To me, this is an easy drinking, top quality wine. Um, eight quids, that standard uh, non-offer price that you'll pay for, for Yellow Tails, you know, the Shiraz. There's a Merlot, there's a Pinot Noir, which I, which I spotted this year. There's a Cabernet Sauvignon, a Cabernet Merlot. There's a Chardonnay, I think there's a Pinot Grigio. There's a Rosé one as well, and there's even a Sparkly. So the full range, and you can even get them in small bottles as well, which is really good if you're going somewhere um, and uh, you're not keen on other people's wines. And you say, I've got this little bottle, you know, in the bottle drink it to compliment your drink or sneak it into a pub when no one's watching get a bottle of water glass of water pour the bloody water away bottle of red you know better than paying four pound four or five pound for a glass not that you should do that obviously so yeah lovely bit of quality uh, i can't emphasize how much this tastes nice You know, the taste is fantastic. Um, from the first time I've drank this, and I've had quite a few bottles over the years, I give it so many six months before I have the next bottle. I don't drink a lot, I don't drink a lot of any wine to be honest, unless it's wine that I've brewed. And that's obvious reasons because if you brewed 30 uh, litres, 26 litres of it, 25 litres, 30 bottles, you're going to be drinking quite a bit of it. So if you get a decent quality, um, wine you know and if only yellowtail made uh, a yellowtail wine kit wow I'd be in heaven but they don't so lovely pepperiness at times as well oh out of all the yellow tails, I think the Shiraz and the Malbec are my two favourites. Whether the Pinot Noir, when I have it, is any better, we shall see. I'm going to give wines a, a, a break for probably a day. Yeah, yeah, it's Christmas. Uh, we shall see. But um, yeah, so. Out of five. Oof. This isn't a complex wine. It's not like a Barola or an Amarone. They're very, very complex. Lots of flavours. Uh, not like a Campo Rioja Grand Reserve, which is another absolute amazing wine. Uh, the, you know, by far the best of the Campos. But for me, this wine is the absolute best wine, red wine, on the market. Uh, you know, in my in my eyes, um, taste-wise, price-wise, it's good, obviously. But taste-wise, absolutely beautiful. Um, just as good on its own. Um, great with a steak, you know. So out of five, I'm going to give it a four point seven five out of five. My number one uh, red wine. Absolutely love it. You know, I can't say any better about it. And finally got to review it after six months of reviewing, doing reviews, around about six months. Um, yeah, absolutely lovely. Really enjoy it. Anyway, do you agree? Do you think that's a good red wine? What's your favourite? You know, it's nice if people's... Um, uh, opinions because obviously we all will it's a world of opinions you know uh, but yeah for me that's the one thanks for watching 
and have a great Christmas. May see you later.